With 2012 coming to a close, chaos was overflowing with talent in every division. Now was the time for them to hit the gas and forge a dynasty in New Japan Pro Wrestling. I'm Kevin Kelly, and this is The Recount. In 2012, Okada won his first G1 Climax on his very first attempt, completely solidifying his status in the main event elite. Surprisingly, holding the top two stars at once caused little discord within Chaos. The added prominence that Nakamura brought to the Intercontinental Championship was on full display at Wrestle Kingdom 7, where the title was defended as part of a double main event. While Okada came up short in his challenge, Nakamura all but stole the show with an intense bout against MMA icon Sakuraba. Chaos would surely reign in 2013. Kazuchika Okada's second IWGP title reign began at Invasion Attack 2013, a reign that would last for more than a year. Punishing Hiroshi Tanahashi with an intensity and more smoothness and wisdom than in his earlier months back in Japan, Okada staged a dogged assault on Tanahashi's neck, including a punishing DDT on the floor and the use of his new submission hold, Red Ink. Both of the top flight IWGP titles were in the hands of Chaos, and Forever Hooligans would depose Alex Shelley and Kushida, the Time Splitters, the very next month to add the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Championships to the faction's trophy case. Even Toru Yano and Takashi Iska were a threat to snatch the heavyweight tag titles at any given moment. Were it not for Iska getting somewhat distracted by ceaselessly tormenting Japanese announcer Shinpei Nogami instead of wrestling. Masato Tanaka still represented the stable from 0-1 and became the first never open weight champion at the end of 2012, making Chaos a dominant stable indeed. Tanaka wouldn't stay much longer in New Japan, but it would be another Chaos member that came to define the never open weight championship instead. Tomohiro Ishii, a 14-year veteran at this point, certainly had a fan base but it was in his run in the 23rd G1 Climax that he truly arrived, most memorably when opposite Katsuyori Shibata. For a blindingly intense 10 minutes, Shibata and Ishii tore one another apart. The two fighters shook the entire establishment of New Japan. Two headstrong forces, poised to jump in the main event space. Despite Ishii's performances, there would not be a third consecutive G1 Climax win for Chaos. Instead, Tetsuya Naito won the tournament and single-handedly jeopardized Chaos's stranglehold on New Japan. Completing a revenge that had been years coming, Naito set the record straight with the complete players by beating both Yujiro Takahashi and Masato Tanaka while becoming the never open weight champion. Naito was readying himself to live the dream he had had since a teenager, to walk into the main event of a show at the Tokyo Dome. But things didn't go exactly to plan. A huge Intercontinental Championship match was also on the horizon. Subscribe as we continue our path along the formation of chaos. And sign up at NJPWWorld.com to watch all these exciting matches in full.